Hello everyone and welcome to uh, the 2022 BMW S1000R. I was very very uh, keen to test ride this bike because the only S1000R that I rode ever before was the 2018 I think it was and I did a video on that. It's one of my worst performing videos ever and not only because of the video quality but also because I think I hated the bike and I hated riding it and I think that that kind of shows in uh, in the way I spoke about it and with the complete lack of enthusiasm so now five four or five years later I decided to give it a go again and I have to say that I am completely amazed by this bike so first impressions this is the first ride on the bike effectively since I did it last time on the earlier model. So the first impressions are it is the sitting riding position, riding position, sorry, is a bit more sportier than I was expecting. So my knees are tucked up and quite high up on the bike, more than I expected for a road bike. But it's just after a little bit I've been riding it for a few minutes and it's just it feels natural now it's not it's not a tiring position well I'm slightly leaning forward in a more sportier position than I was expecting uh, the seat is not it's not very very hard but it's not very soft it's it's comfy enough uh, for this riding position I mean ergonomically it feels it feels very very good for me and it fits me very well. I am 181 centimeters. That's almost six foot tall. Around 85 kilograms. I don't know. Maybe almost 200 pounds. And uh, I'm not neither too big or too small for this bike. I think. And handling. Oh my God, handling. This is this is surgically precise. It, it handles every bend, every twist. But the way you want it to handle, it turns where you want it to turn, it's surgically precise. I have to say that this time round, I'm amazed by this bike. Yeah, I think I fell in love with it. It does have a few things that, uh, that I don't like as such. Some of them just take a bit of getting used to, others quite not. And so let's get rid of the things that I don't like first so then... Uh, I can focus on what I do like about the bike. So the first thing is, regardless uh, of, of, you know, any time, anywhere around 6,000 RPM, 7,000 RPM, uh, the bike, overall the bike is too vibey on the handlebars and on the seats, foot pegs. I feel it's too vibey and you can't, you, well, at least I can't do six, 7,000 RPM for too long on this bike because it's just the buzz is just I, I can't, unbearable to me. Uh, so that's one of the things, it's quite vibey. And the other thing is, I mentioned this initially, it's the riding position. It feels comfortable now, but it is a bit awkward to reach the both the, uh, the gear shift uh, lever and uh, the gear shift lever and the, the rear brake lever. So it's not easy. They're very, very tucked in and they're pushed forward a bit too much in my opinion from the foot pegs to be comfortable and easy to reach so those these are the two main things and the other one is the mirrors but you can sort that out quite easily just replacing them they don't do a good job of, of showing what's behind me and yeah these mirrors are, are not good so these are probably the three main things that I don't like so far about this bike this I may I remind you this is my first impressions video everything else the engine is very, very smooth. It likes to rev very much. Power on this bike is around 165 horsepower uh, and it, it delivers maximum power at around 11,000 RPM, which I think is 1,000 RPM lower than the previous uh, version, the 2021 version. And uh, even the torque, I think it's around 115 Newton meters. I'll put the numbers up as usual. Uh, even the torque is the torque curve is a lot flatter so it's a lot more usable in real world speeds or real world situations than uh, the previous bike although this engine likes to rev and it's happiest right up there on the rev range uh, so basically this is a super sports bike so uh, this is a super bike disguised as a road bike in my opinion it inherits a lot from its sports sibling the S1000RR the engine is slightly tuned down but it's you, you can see it has the DNA of a sports bike uh, under the guise of a road bike and that's why perhaps 
the, the sitting position is so sporty not as upright as I expected on on a road bike but the engine does deliver oh oh god it does deliver and regardless of the of the gear you're in if you just give it a squirt and off it goes very very quickly it tries to uh, <laughs> it tries to rip your arms off your body and the fact that it's a naked bike you don't have any virtually any wind protection which in this case it's not that bad because the the airflow is very very clean and very very uh, and, and there's no turbulence at all so I'm doing what 40 more 45 miles an hour and I, I can barely feel the wind which is which is very very nice uh, but still going fast accelerating fast yeah it's going to try to rip your arms off and another thing about this bike is that it feels that to me at least it feels that it's going way faster than it is so I was at some in some, on some occasions especially on the dual carriageway I thought I was going a lot faster than I was that's the overall the aggressive sitting position I think and uh, you know the, the, this urge for the engine to rev up that makes you think that you're you're going a lot faster than you are and I would look down at the speedo and I would be doing 70 75 miles an hour thinking well oh god I'm probably doing 90 now but no it, it can be a very very fast bike but it can be a very very easy and non-intimidating bike to ride at slow speeds and it's very easy to handle this it, it's a small bike it's nigh on 200 kilograms so it's not heavy at, it's not very very small it hides its size well but it's not a big bike and it's very easy to maneuver around uh, just take it in and out of the garage of your driveway it's 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 a piece of cake and the fact that it's it's so precise in turning and going where you want it to go it's so nimble so agile man this is this is the ultimate weapon really this is the ultimate weapon to be honest it's not for my sort of riding although i can see myself getting used to it very very quickly and i think that you need to be very bike fit to ride this bike properly and myself at 54 years old of age i think i still have it in me to ride this bike for a few hours so it's physically not still not very demanding for me but you need to be you need to be bike fit to ride this bike for a while but my word do i like riding it i i love riding it and the quick shifter this comes uh, this one comes equipped with a quick shifter up and down it's not the smoothest quick shifter I've, ex I've, I've tried on a BMW, but it's very, very nice. I don't know, shifting up, it feels like there's a moment where the bike for a second, it's split second, it slows down a bit before sort of engaging and, and, and pulling forwards again. It's got three, three modes, uh, standard, this is dynamic, and there's rain and there's road, but I left it in dynamic, why not? Suspension is also adjusted to dynamic and adjust suspension and preload. It's got 45 millimeter upside down forks on the front, 320 uh, millimeter disc brakes with four caliper Brembos. I, I read that the previous version didn't use Brembos and people complained about it because brakes were not, uh, were not that good on the bike. But these brakes on this one, oh my god, they do stop the bike. And uh, what else? Single caliper on the rear. Not exactly sure what the size, the disc size is. And all the amenities you'd expect. Heated grips, cruise control. Like I said, suspension adjustment. And, and yeah, there's, what else could you want on a bike like this? It's got this beautiful TFT screen that BMW now has on, on all their bikes. Very, very easy to read. And, and yeah, I'm really loving this bike. I mean, I, I came to it from my previous ex experience which I didn't like very much and I was hoping that it, I would like it more this time but I wasn't really prepared for this very very pleasant surprise so overall a bike that is excellent to ride surgically precise on its maneuvering and overall just just a bullet on the road for me personally it's a bit too fast I would never ever ever use it to its, to its full potential and I don't think anyone sane would use this on the road to its full potential but on track oh my god this must be a beast anyway guys thank you very much for watching this has been my first ride in first impressions video on the 2022 BMW S1000R very easy bike to ride as you can see quick shifter very smooth shifting down 
and yeah that's it I'm going to enjoy this bike a bit more and for you guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next video until then ta -ra.